Justin Lepic, our very special. He's a three-time Premiership player, three-time yep, no, Australian, if absolutely. you know Absolutely. And now the Ford coach at Richmond. Let me ask you, where do you start Tom Lynch? Do you start him in a goal square <laughs> and move, move Jack up the field? Or how will he slot him? I think um, Tom Lynch is very happy at Adelaide. Um, he's playing a good role there. <laughs> Uh, Mick, different Mick Tom Lynch, Mick. Mick doesn't know what you're talking about. <laughs> no, look, no, look he, may, he may come to us. We, yeah, we're very may. hopeful he Let's does. Let's do a hypothetical. And, okay, hypothetical. <laughs> um, I think we'll find some room for him. You uh, want to find some I room? Think, I think so. Play him uh, down forward, get Jack up on a higher on a wing. Yeah, kind of yeah. Look, we won't give away all our secrets yet. Hey? But, we'll, but if, hey, if, we'll if we get Tom Lynch, if, 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 if we do, you'll be able to go part-time as a forward coach. Justin, we said before you started your career as a forward, but you made your name as one of the great defenders of your of your era. Is it true that your first game back, the first game you got sent back, you played on Tony Lockett? Is that, is that a true story? Oh, in defence? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, it was an interesting... We had it. We, wow. We, we got the wooden spoon in 98. It wasn't a great uh, great season. But this is probably the crossover from those early forward years to the... Look at that beard. Uh, yeah. Through the back years. But, yeah... Um, now, what are you thinking? You hear that news, you get out there, you line up on Tony Lockett. What's yeah. going on in your head? Well, he was, he was my hero. I was a kid. I used to go to yep. Brabant every week to watch him play. So it was pretty, bit of, pretty much a thrill. Um, John Aldi just uh, got the sack not long before it. Roger Merritt took over and he said, I want to play in defence. And we had just so happened playing Sydney that week. So, um, first game on, on Plugger. Kept him eight touches. Yeah. 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 Seven goals. Seven yeah. goals. <laughs> Did he say anything? Like, was he an intimidator? Or is he just... What, how Did was he, he chat? Then? Does he yeah. chat? No, I think for Sydney it was one of those games, like, we're going up to Brisbane, let's just get the win and get home. Yeah, so yeah. it was... Uh, but uh, it was exciting for me um, to, to play on him, but not exciting to get a bag kicked on me. Is it true that... I'm, oh, now I'm terrified because I got it wrong before, but there was the offer made to you, wasn't there? Before, no. No, it didn't happen. <laughs> no. St Kilda, no, St Kilda did try to did. you, didn't they? they yeah, did. it wasn't yeah. after that game. No, no, no. It was a few years later, um, yeah, after Lee Matthews came in, and yep. um, look, it happens now with a lot of the, the players now, contracts get offered. And, what um, they offer? Uh, they offered me, I would have been the highest paid player in the competition at the time to go there. Um, that was at the end of 2000, so it would have been a... That, by the way, judging, comment, judging by this season, that offer still stands. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. I can understand that yeah. because you were one of the, the great defenders of, of your oh. era. You had every trick in the book. Here you are on the mark as Lance Whitnell uh, goes to kick for goal. Have a look at what you've done there. You've thrown your boot <laughs> in here <laughs> to I'm throw not... him off. Now, I know Lance Whitnell. You probably would have had a better job of it if you'd thrown a hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Did it have the design? Oh. Are you making that up as you go? What are you doing? Oh, Deary, mate. My boot actually fell off, obviously, and it was in my hand. We had a bad day that day, and um, Lance kicked a few, and I was just didn't know what. I thought, well, why not try this? Um, <laughs> I found out later if it actually had hit the ball, I would have got suspended. Now, the um, AFL, yeah, because of what? Yeah, I don't, bringing the game to disrepute, whatever rule they made. That would have been time, a, probably. Uh, but, uh, head crash for, head crash for Michael Christian. <laughs> <laughs> I, like most, I like how most of the stories, most, most of the stories about you as a defender involve you getting a bag kicked on you. Yeah. You're actually quite a, you're, you're a good you're a, player. Quite a great to, that 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 Brisbane Lions team that I that we all that we love that that spine of uh, Mal Michael, Justin, Simon Black, Brown and Lynch. It's the greatest. Oh, other than your current Thank Richmond you. team. Yeah, yeah. What, else? <laughs> um, what about so? This is all you. Um, did Damien Hardwick have to cajole you into coming back to Richmond um, as an assistant coach? Uh, a little bit, yeah. After Why my, not? Why? Well, just in my time after Brisbane, um, I'd obviously had a, it was a difficult few years. Yeah. I'd done 20 odd years in a row of foot AFL seasons. I went straight from playing to assistant to senior, and I thought maybe a year off would be a good thing to do. That's probably where the year off come in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Uh, okay. But and that was mainly it. Had to move the kids and family again for another interstate move. But yeah. uh, apart from Damien, my wife was sort of keen yeah. to say, "No, stick with it." And, Go and help Damien. I was, and the other part, I was committed to help Damien as well. He was also under the pump the year before. To, so and, okay. and you had to make it up to him too. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, after yeah. you, I gouged him. <laughs> well, no, this is, uh, this we're is, not mucking around. No, we're not mucking Do you around. remember this incident on the field? Come on. It's time. This is you uh, going around playing and somehow... Have we got the footage here? Yeah, we have. Here's, Here's the story. Here's the story. The Lions' Justin Lippick has been cited for gouging Essendon's Damien Hardwick at the MCG. Player advocate Ian Finlay, who viewed the passage of play with Lippick today says the charge will be vigorously defended and intends to plead not guilty. Now, I always have a close bond with anyone I've ever, I guess. <laughs> Well, it's quite oh, funny. I, I, did, I did hear about this a few days ago when I got the phone call to come on the show, and I spoke to Damien about it. He didn't remember. In fact, his words said, you sure it wasn't me eye gouging you? <laughs> so um, that was his response. So he was very much a physical type player as well. But, yeah, 
Yeah. I'm glad he didn't remember that day. I, and will, will Tom Lynch come up for the second? Or will he go straight into the best 20 He has to earn his stripes. He has to earn his stripes. You mentioned, yes, you, mentioned, you mentioned the senior coaching time you had. Um, it, it, it's, you're young, it's a tough gig. So with a to go, Will you ever go back? I mean, is, 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 do you still harbour ambitions to get back into the main seat one of these days? Absolutely. Look how fun it is. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, it, look, yeah, I really enjoyed my time, to yeah, be honest. Yes, yeah. um, I knew I was getting myself in for a little bit going up there um, as far as the list changes and... I think I had 24 debutants in that time. Yeah. So, you know, so I see young clubs now, and I suppose Carlton's going through a bit of that, that now, that it's very difficult to win when you're going out there with all of 18-year-old kids. Absolutely. So, yeah, I, I really loved that, that time, yeah. though. I really did enjoy it, to be honest. As a forward coach, this must have been your proudest moment, seeing uh, young Jack Higgins uh, <laughs> out on the full line. Obviously, you practice this. <laughs> what are you thinking when you see that? Are you... Um, it just shows footballers, um, you can't teach them everything, can you? I mean, you don't practice that, do you? He's a, he's a natural footballer, he's a freak of a kid, he's going to be a really good player. He's going to be a ripper, isn't he? We, not, we were sitting behind the goals, I was, I was there with my boys that day, and I've never seen the Richmond crowd erupt like that. It was just a magic. So moment. intuitive, isn't it? I mean, do you, are you convinced that that's legal or, or not? Have you, have you, oh, who uh, cares, Andy? No, 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 I love it. I think, I think it's perfectly it's fine, but have you sort of fallen on a position one way or the other? I don't think anything that? that promotes scoring is a win. Yeah. I mean, if he had, a, I don't know, it's, it's a fine line, isn't it? He sort of was throwing it onto his boot, there was a post in the way. If he threw it's it in good, the air, maybe not. No, uh, it's a good chat to have uh, ten <laughs> weeks ago, mate. <laughs> <laughs> well, we didn't have him here ten weeks ago, did we? Can I ask you... While you're there, Alex Rance has credited you as being one of the most, one of the great influences on oh, his yeah. career. And uh, do you, how do you go? Were you his defensive coach when Mental. He, yeah. he started back there? Because he was always gifted, but partial to the odd clanger at the at the start of his season. Have you watched him grow with yeah. great pride? Well, look, he's um, and look, I, I sort of got him for the first three or four season when he wasn't probably the All Australian yep. he is now. And and obviously Ben Rutten does a great job with him yes. now and the whole. The whole back line. But I guess the, the formative years when he was the kid, probably in tears, coming to your room, so I'm never going to make it. And then you look <laughs> back now and you think, God, this, this same kid was saying that in your office and you had to spend time with him. And so I guess I spent the early years with him. Um, yeah. But obviously, he's the, the, I never had him coach him actually as an All Australian. It's actually when I left, he got all these awards. So, <laughs> and so I can't take all as the credit. Has he thanked you at any stage? Oh, he always publicly? does. Obviously, he, he always, always does. mentions and, um, and yeah, as I said, but it's. Uh, and look, he's one, one of many players. It's, the hard thing for Alex is he's had other coaches that he loves attributes his career yeah. with, and there's other players that I've also helped and enjoyed, but we, we tend to have that, that bond. That bond. Can yeah. you stick around? Yeah, I'd love to. More right. with Justin Lepich after this mixed multi coming up. Oh, as well.